This morning I'm here at Makuni Chevrolet in Cadillac in Sacramento, California. I'm here to get something really special put on my Tesla Model S. So my license plate here is about to get a very major upgrade. Let me go show you what's about to happen. All right guys, I'm here with Craig of Cooney Chevrolet Cadillac. He's here showing us today the Reviver Auto, the world's first digital license plate. Craig's gonna tell us about how this license plate works and how you can get one on your car just like mine. Hey Tesla world, Craig Quisenberry, Cooney Chevrolet Cadillac, um, coming to you today to talk about the Reviver R-Plate Pro. This is a brand new digital license plate for vehicles. Uh, just came out, just came available in the state of California and just approved in the state of Washington, but not available for road use yet, will be shortly. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about the plate, um, how it came to be a little bit, and, uh, and hopefully if you like it, you're gonna buy a bunch of these from Cooney Chevrolet Cadillac. So let's jump into the R-Plate Pro. Um, the, the whole concept of this plate, as you can see, it's in a, a very industrial uh, plastic housing or urethane, polyurethane housing. Um, the glass that's used on this is dragon tail glass. It's a reinforced, heat treated reinforced glass, uh, much like bulletproof glass would be, um, similar to, to other brands that are out there. Um, very iPad like, it is extraordinarily durable. Um, the design of this plate has been in development for over 10 years. Uh, the founder and owner of this company has went through an exhaustive process, as you might imagine, in, in the uh, DMV departments all over the nation, getting this approved. The first state to approve it was California. Um, we, last month, Cooney Chevrolet Cadillac and several other dealers um, were able to get Reviver R-Plate Pro on 1,000 cars, 1,000 cars in the state of California. So it's on the roads right now. Um, it's already been tested. It's been extraordinarily durable. Um, and fun, but let's get into the fun part of this. So why go a digital license plate? First reason, obviously you have full control over the plate. Your tabs are still on there, but you're not gonna use the adhesive sticky ones. It's actually updated through your phone and your phone does the actual pay, much like you would do on any of your applications. Advertising is available, and I'm gonna talk about the advertising piece in a minute. Um, some of the other features that won't show in this rotational model is uh, coming soon parking validation. So all your parking validation can be done uh, through your actual mobile device and display on the plate how much time you have remaining and it will be lock and syn uh, synchronized with those parking agencies. Um, some of the other things good to go are fast pass tolling uh, throughout the nation. The plate is designed to function anywhere throughout the United States. Uh, it has pending approval already in 28 states, and as I mentioned, Washington and a few others, Arizona, Texas, uh, will be coming aboard and going live soon. So you guys in, in Washington, Texas, Arizona, and Florida, uh, you're gonna see it coming up here real soon. For states that have what's called a temporary pass when you first buy a car, rather than getting a cheap little piece of paper, basically, that you tape in your car, it will automatically transmit to your car after the dealer does your initial paperwork. That will obviously in a matter of weeks as DMV registration occurs, turn into a full digital license plate. Um, some of the other features, this has built in RFID. Um, not a real usable feature for consumers, very usable for law enforcement. The nice thing about RFID is rather than have to use optics to see the plate, law enforcement can actually scan an area for plates for stolen vehicles, for example, or to make certain that current tab or user uh, ownership is current and it's on the right car, which is great for consumers to know that this is on the right car. But what if it's stolen? Hey, what do you know? If it's stolen, it wipes out all information in here, um, or if somebody tries to remove it, it will wipe out the whole screen and say detached. So that you're aware, no personal information is stored in this device. There is a unique identifier that is attached in the registration process. And those two are kept completely separate from each other. So even in the event somebody did steal your car or the plate, no personal information is ever connected to this actual device. Um, as you can see, you can put in your college or favorite uh, charity uh, in different areas. That is state governed in terms of who allows us to do that at this time and who doesn't. Um, right now in California, that is coming live in the mobile app here real shortly. This piece down here, this light banner, is customizable. So in the state of California, you can put virtually any message that you want in that space. 
Uh, generally, it says www.ca.gov or dmv.gov. Um, that is customizable for your use, so it can say your family name, it can say virtually anything. Um, back to the advertising piece. Um, we have discovered, or Reviver has discovered, that in the state of California, while you're driving, your plate, of course, needs to be displayed. But when the vehicle stopped, it can go into an advertising mode. What that means for you, the consumer or business owner, is you can advertise your own business while the car's in a stopped or non-functioning mode. The cool part about this plate is it uses no electricity, meaning right now it's in a static mode. When it's on your car, your car's turned off, this is all done with e-ink, and so when the car's turned off, this requires no electricity, it stays right where it's at. The only time it draws electricity is when it goes through rotational screen mode, much like it's doing right now towards a product demonstration, or in the evening when it's backlit. It lights internally, way cool. Reviver goes on, it is mounted professionally. It's only allowed to be done at this point at dealerships. Um, when it's on, it is on. Now we can get it off, but it is a chore to get these things off. It takes quite a bit of time to mount one and install one. Um, but, but when it's on there, it looks cool. It's sleek, as you can tell, it's a lot like the first generation or second generation iPhones. Very smooth non-branded, you don't have a bunch of dealer advertising or stuff on there you don't want. Um, it's controllable, as I mentioned, through your Android or your iPhone device. Um, you can do, as I mentioned, the charity things or the custom banners um, and the good to go parking. Uh, all that stuff's gonna be coming in different iterations, but pretty much everything's gonna be full feature within the next six to 12 months. Um, some of the other features, obviously you can see that you can go white screen or black screen. Now this is a 16 color uh, mono stable, I'm, I'm going to get this wrong team so don't crucify me online about this, but it's, it's a monochromatic stable uh, image, meaning that um, it looks like it has some color to it, it's actually 16 different images um, and that, that mono image or that uh, monochromatic image is what that e-ink is built about. Um, we think it's a fantastic product, I mean frankly we all invest a lot of money in cars whether it's your first car or your luxury super sports car. Um, it is a great accessory to put on there, and it really finishes off your buying experience. My personal like about this, this represents your family. I mean, every one of us out there have little stickers on our cars or custom license plates, which you can, again, do through your app. You can apply for your custom license plate right through your app, and DMV approves it. It shows up right here. We're going to show you how a plate goes live here in a minute. Um, but what's really nice is it, it just really finishes things off gives you personalization. You can put your family name down here, your family logo, your favorite sports team, um, etc. A lot of other uses coming for this for commercial truck use. Uh, if you think about interstate transit, um, a lot of other uses that can be done. It has geo tracking built in right now, um, which means you're going to have the ability to sell advertising on this plate as well. And that'll be either geo based if you want it for your local market, your own personal company use. Um, or if you want to subscribe to Google or some other advertisers to allow them to advertise and remunerate or pay you to advertise on your plate. Um, presently, this plate is $795. Um, there's an activation fee and an installation fee that keeps it just under $1,000 total. A um, little bit expensive, I would agree, but very cool, extremely cool. Um, I just looked at my first iPhone that I ever bought and I had the receipt still in the box. You know what? This isn't that far away from that, and I think this is way cooler when you're mounting it to a car. So, um, anyway, that's what I've got for now. We're gonna show you how it gets installed and what it looks like on a car. All right, so here we go. We're about to finally put on the plate. Right, so we've got the plate put on. Uh, we're gonna take it up front. I'm gonna go meet up with Craig and we're gonna go get this registered. So my Geekship license plate tags will show up here on the back of the plate. Uh, the Geekship one has arrived. I got it too, fantastic. Oh, that's even cooler, it's in the middle of a summon. That couldn't have been better. That worked out freaking perfect. Uh, that was awesome, that was super awesome. I couldn't have scripted that better. Uh, All right. We got it, guys. It's fun to do the impossible. The Geek Ship won. <laughs> God, that was cool. <laughs> Craig, thanks a lot for getting us set up with the world's first digital license plate. No problem. And come see us at Cooney Chevrolet Cadillac or call us, and we'll set you up with one of these yourself. That's it, guys. You know where to get it.